episode of the Assembly Lines podcast. Today I'd like to continue where I left off in my other podcast and talk more about the Merlin Assembler. If you want to, you can follow along in the book. We're going to be looking at Appendix G from Assembly Lines, the complete book. So let's get started. Okay, here we are back in the Merlin Assembler. And if you're curious, this is actually the original Merlin. Uh, this is running on an Apple II Plus. The first thing you want to do is, again, switch to drive number two, because that's where all my programs are stored. And if you recall last time, we were working on a program called Test Bell. So I'm just going to hit L to load that. And I'll just type Test Bell. And here we are in the editor, and we can just hit L to list our program. And what I'm going to do today is just actually just show you a little bit more about the editor. And just uh, remember, this is a single line editor. Uh, if you use Merlin Pro or Merlin 8, then you can actually use a full screen editor. So what I'll do is actually just start over, and I'll just recreate this program, and then just some, make some mistakes, and so we can see how the editing commands work. <laughs> see here's our program. So now what if we didn't actually want all those lines uh, with the asterisks? So what you can do is you can delete lines by just using D. So you can say D, say 6, and if I list my program you can see line 6 is now gone. Actually what's happened is it's deleted that line and it's shoved all the lines up. Uh, so this is something really important to, uh, to think about. If you're going to delete a bunch of lines, make sure to delete them in reverse order. So for example, if I just said D, 6, and I was like, okay, now I'm going to delete 7. So, and I'll do list. So what happened? Well, I deleted, deleted line 6, and all the lines went up. Uh, their numbering uh, went up. And so line 8 then became line 7. And unfortunately, line 8 was actually our, uh, the definition of our bell. So we've actually deleted uh, one of our important lines. So just be careful if you're deleting lines to always start from the highest line number and kind of work backwards or delete them in chunks. So for example, you could do delete 6-7, delete 6, 7, right. And okay, so now I've deleted all those. So what do we do? We need to redefine our bell. I can use I for insert and I want to insert at line 6 and now I'm just back in edit mode. So I can maybe put another comment in and I can redefine my bell and let's uh, do this wrong. So instead of FBDD I'll just do FDBE um, and I list it and I notice it's wrong so now what do I want to do? I could either delete that line uh, and retype it or instead I could just edit the uh, line itself. So I'm going to just edit the line hit E7 and now I'm in edit mode. So what I can do is I can either type, um, in which case I'm just typing over um, what I just did. So I could do it that way. Or you can just use arrow keys, move over, and just type the new character. Okay, now let's pretend that you actually wanted to insert some characters. What you can do is you can actually hit Control i for insert. And now it's my bell. Or you can hit Control d to delete characters. Okay. So now what happens if you're actually in edit mode? So let's go and edit, say, line 10. Um, and let's pretend we wanted to add a label here. If I just start typing, so this is for the list, so I'll just type L for list. So what happened? It actually overwrites whatever character it's on top of. In this case, it happened to be the tab character, and so it actually shoved everything over to the left. So you want to make sure to hit Control I for insert anytime you want to insert a new character. Okay, so I think at this point our program is done. Uh, we can list it and assemble it. Uh, and it assembled without errors, so I think we're good to go. And that's all I wanted to show you this week, so thanks for watching. <music>